The second way to distribute the ball for a goalkeeper is obviously with your feet. If we're making a pass on the ground, okay, we want to look like the field players. We want to keep that ball on the ground as much as possible. We don't want that ball bouncing around as it's coming to our defenders or our teammates. Okay, same thing as if we have to put the ball in the air. Now, one of the, uh, one of the things young kids love to do is punt the soccer ball. Okay, but what I see is too many crazy actions, running around the ball, head down like this to run and kick a ball, right? Proper technique when we kick a ball. Keep our chest in the direction we want to kick the ball. Okay, stay as upright as possible, a little bend in our knees, okay? And we don't need five or six steps in order to get through the ball. Two or three steps, okay? Ball in the opposite hand of our kicking foot. In my case, I'm kicking with my right, ball is in my left hand. My body, if I want to kick the ball that way, I don't want my body going this way, I want it going in the direction that I'm kicking the ball. Okay, and start off really easy. I always equate it to golfers. You go to the community golf course and you see guys swinging 100 miles an hour and the ball goes 50 yards. Then you turn on the TV on a Saturday afternoon and the pros hardly swing and the ball goes 300 yards, right? It's all about form, contact. When you contact the ball, if the ball is too low, if I'm contacting it down here, okay, the ball, the trajectory of the ball is going to be a lower one. If I want to get it up in the air, I contact it somewhere up in this area. So as I'm coming to you, again, a couple of steps ball out in front of me where I can see it. And the last big mistake we don't want to make is we don't want to toss it up. If you've got a windy day, you toss it up here. By the time it comes down, the ball is here. Now I've got to readjust my body, All right? The, the toss doesn't, there's not much in the toss. Straight forward. Okay, keep the ball out in front of you where you can see it, not in here where it's hidden. If the ball's hidden as we're doing all of this motion, we now have to find the ball as we attack it. If it's out here, we can see the ball and we can go and attack it. Get in the game.